Previously on Sea Patrol. Thanks, Jeff. I never expected we'd end up on the same ship. Get down here quick! What's going on? Hello, Bree. We're gonna be fine. What happens if we don't find them? We'll find them. Buy me a drink when we get back to shore, man. Haven't you heard about the non-fraternization rule for shipmates? Oh, yeah, I've heard about it, anyway. Right then. Now, Sea Patrol continues. GT. What's up? Enjoying yourself, X? Driving a patrol boat is very different to a frigate. <laughs> You're different as, like a V8 in a school bus. You're a Westy petrol head, Nav. It's much more direct. Direct, intuitive. The more you do it, the more you'll enjoy it. So do you have any idea why we're inserting two federal police onto Bright Island? Of course, I've asked the question, X. And of course, they're choosing not to answer. We're heading to Bright Island. Are you happy with this course, X? I am. X, I think we need to come left. Why? I'm steering 320. Bright Island bears 310. Roger, port 20, steer 310. Port 20, steer 310, ma'am. That ties in with the charter depth. Anything on radar? Nothing. Nothing. So we've hit the invisible man. Stop both engines. Stop both engines. Both engines stop, sir. Very good. We we'll need to take a look. Whatever it is, it shouldn't be there. ET, suit up. Sir. Of sharks. Oh, I wouldn't concern yourself, ma'am. No self-respecting shark would eat him. If one just snacked on him a little, might do the women of the world a favour. Comm said we have a high frequency tracking signal close by. A moment ago it wasn't there, now it's booming in. Take the con, Nav. X with me. 
Comsan reports a sudden high frequency signal. What have we got there? Looks like some sort of transponder unit. Pretty high quality stuff. Do you want it on board, sir? High quality transponder gear in the middle of nowhere. Sounds dodgy to me. Leave it there, ET. Come back aboard. Whatever that thing's doing there, it's worth a heap of money to someone. Uh, Mike, when you report this, federal police will be kept informed. So we've come across a boy equipped with a transponder unit. Very expensive, very sophisticated. And this boy? It's moored to a heavy object in 15 metres of water. Given the sophistication of the equipment, we could be looking at something illegal. The senior federal agent on board has requested his people be informed. All right, I'll liaise with the federal police, see if it rings any bells with them. Also, customs, so Coast Watch can keep an eye. Roger. In the meantime? Your priority is to continue on to Bright Island to insert the federal agents there. Aye, sir. I'll keep you posted. Nav, mark the boy's position on radar. It's already marked, sir. Just once I'd like to get in ahead of you. <laughs> in your dreams, sir. And set course for Bright Island at 18 knots. Aye, sir. Half ahead both engines, Revolution 720, steer 270. Half ahead both engines, Revolution 720, steer. Why didn't we just haul up whatever it is and take a look? Given the gear, it's got to be dodgy. What does that suggest to you? Oh, rendezvous for people smugglers, drugs, other contraband? Some sort of intelligence stakeout? Yeah. I wouldn't get too James Bond here. The smart money's got to be on drugs. So... So, to make a charge stand up in court, we have to catch him in possession. If we mess with the evidence, some defence lawyer will claim we planted it. And if we're on top of it when they come for it... We'll scare them off. I'd just love to know what's down there. So why are we dropping the feds off on Bright Island? It's got to do with a marine biologist that died, hasn't it? So you think she was murdered? Wouldn't surprise me. Bright Island. I didn't say that. You know, it could be anything. A chemical reaction... Bollocks. It's a suspicious death. Well, maybe the ghost's got her. <laughs> you can laugh all you like. The fact the feds are involved means foul play for sure. It's probably some kind of poison, eh, Judge? Yeah, it's like in these muffins. No, oh, they're good. It's because my mum's chef, huh? Are you lucky to have any? The skipper stops engines without asking permission of the chef. <laughs> <laughs> the new ex running into something on the high seas. Oh. Might have known. Woman driver. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the presence of a woman driver stop you, fellas. Uh, we're going to be just discussing uh, my girlfriend, ex. She's praying the car. I believe every word you say, chef oh, I smell coffee. Let me guess. chef -O was complaining about stopping the ship without warning him. I appear to have become a figure of fun to the ship's company, sir. 23 people on a ship this size. Fun's one of the things that smooths off the edges. It's humiliating. Kate. Please don't call me that, sir. X, you can't get everything perfect first time around. And you think I don't know that? We have Bright Island visual. We'd better get down to the quarter deck. I'm going ashore? I thought I might stretch my legs. Yeah. Away sea boat, away sea boat. you what you're doing here, Dr. Morell? Please, it's Ursula. I'm continuing my colleague's research. Lisa Holmes's research? Yeah, she died. She couldn't finish her work. I feel I have an obligation. And you, Commander Flynn, what are you doing here? Giving these guys a lift. My colleague, Alicia Turnbull, Dr. Ursula Morell. Hi. Well, what brings the Federal Police to Bright Island? Well, we're looking to discover what might have killed your colleague. So, do you have any theories? Well, the autopsy revealed that Lisa Holmes died from poison, but that's all we know so far. We're treating it as a suspicious death. You staying overnight? I can offer you some meagre hospitality. Afraid not. Just a chauffeur. Pity. Perhaps some other time. Sir Navcom would like a word on a sat phone, ASAP. 
Roger, sir. Thank you. NAFCOM tells us there's been big shipments of cocaine coming into Australia via northern waters over the past few months. No one's been able to nail the source. And they think that boy we stumbled on could be important. Part of a tracking system, perhaps. Amazing what straying of course can achieve. Could mark the exchange point. Big ship coming in from overseas drops off a shipment of cocaine at the boy. A smaller ship from Australia picks it up, ferries it in. And that way they bypass customs. So now we've dropped our federal friends off at Bright Island? We're the nearest vessel. Set course for the Mark Boy, 16 knots. On our way. Sir? A lot of coincidence going on back there at Bright Island. Lisa Holmes dies, the feds get involved. Dr. Morell checks the island out. What she said was she was there continuing her colleague's work. Well, that's what she said. What are you saying about her? She strikes me as the sort of woman who relates better to men than to other women. That's a crime now. She looks for the alpha male and she concentrates on him. And everyone else is invisible. I'm the alpha male. Oh, <laughs> and don't you know it? Look, I'm sorry she got up your nose, ex. But I'm not responsible for the way Ursula treats the sisterhood. Sir, I've got a stationary vessel on radar within a 10 mile radius of the boy. Could be a fishing boat, but keep it marked. Hang on, here's another one. This one's a fast moving contact heading straight for the boy. How long before it gets there? At her rate of approach, I'd say 20, 25 minutes. And it's got to get whatever it is on the seabed. For the moment, hold your position below the horizon. NAVCOM will put the federal police and customers in the picture. Aye, sir. Set and drift is towards the boy at one and a half knots, but I'll make sure we don't drift too close. Very good, Nav. Don't want to show them our masts and scare them off at this stage. Where are they? Still on course. Still on course. Still... Hang on, they've turned away. What? Double check. Our position wasn't compromised? Absolutely not. Ro, have there been any transmissions from Hammersley that could have been intercepted by the target vessel? Nothing, sir. Right. They've seen us on their radars and... They're more sophisticated than I thought. OK. If they don't want it, we'll take a look. Nav, set course for the buoy, increase 20 knots. Aye, right, sir. Half ahead, both engines, revolution 720, steer 120. Half ahead, both engines, revolution We did have orders from NAVCOM to hold back. It was you who wanted to take a look. Yeah, nevertheless... The situation's changed, X. We're doing it. Ready when you are, X. Look, but don't touch. Find out what you can. Cast off, forward and up. Stand by... Carry on the sea boat. Slip. Standing by. He will set. All clear to dive.
need to patrol boats, Buffer. I served aboard big ships, ma'am. Patrol boats suit me better. Less formal, tighter team. I love the boats. Surprised? No. Horses for courses, I guess. You're not a horse for this course? This being the Navy, I go where I'm sent, and I learn to like it. Cluster bomb, ma'am. Come on, mate. It just felt like a booby trap, sir. The instinct said to get the hell out of there. Any idea what set it off? I mean, did you touch anything? Did you yank the cable? No. But there was a wire running alongside it all the way to the bottom. Now, it had to have been set off by a remote control device. So they meant to kill us. Well, they were destroying evidence. In any case, we're going after them. Who? The vessel that was on approach and then veered away, that's who. Now I've plot a course based on their last known heading. Yes, I want sir. these mongrels. Looks like you could use something hot. Please. All good, sir? Yeah, still came my fingers and toes. We'll get that in here. Thanks, mate. Now it's funny, you know, down there. Like I think I was Sal. If I never get to see our kid. You'll see us all out. <laughs> How is the tin lid? Hmm. 24 weeks. You know, you wouldn't credit this, but the other night, I sure, I, I had my hand on Sal's tummy and I swear I could feel something moving. I mean, I know it's only early. Yeah, that's you? great, Swano. I've got things to do, mate. Oh. You know, if you actually look at the ultrasound really carefully, yeah, you can I've got see... to prep the food. It sounds yeah. awesome, though. They're moving fast in these conditions, sir. Are we holding them? Since they turned away from the boy, we've been gaining slightly, but it could take some hours. At this rate, we'll be on top of them by first light. Any other warships in the vicinity? No, sir. Okay. X, get the team fed and watered. When we overhaul this boat, we'll be boarding. Yes, sir. Hey, Romeo. That chick you were putting in the bar last night, how'd you go? Gentlemen, don't kiss and tell, she fine? <laughs> Take notes on him, Spider, if I were you. No woman's safe. I give it a break. I'm serious, DXO, the nav. You can take bets on him. Who's it? Anyone gambling on the ship's gonna be on charge. Don't listen to him, Spider. Bro, I need to send an email to the missus. Certainly. Your scheduled email time is... 8.30 hours tomorrow. Robert, she's pregnant. The doctors are talking preeclampsia, so I need to know how she is. It's very commendable, but it's 8.30 hours tomorrow. What's good, Chef? Hey, don't turn your back on me. I was talking to you. Practicing unarmed combat, fellas? It's a bad place for it. What's the problem? No problem, Max. It's just a misunderstanding about when Swain can and can't send emails home. Is what I just saw happen a one-off or something I need to manage? 
Just a misunderstanding, X. Your shipmate came very close to never sending another email again today. So how about letting him send one now? Send it, man. As your divisional officer, I need to know if you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. A little bit sore around the feet and ankles. Apart from that, uh, I'm fit for duty, ma'am. Good. Because, um, that was a close call, right? And you know me. I live for that sort of stuff. Well, just as long as you don't die for it. <laughs> well, the, uh, the new ex did well. She reacted fast. Now, if it wasn't for her and Buffer, I wouldn't be standing here in one piece. So as far as the blokes are concerned, I think that makes up for hitting the boy. Oh, were they giving her heaps? Oh, yeah, and she heard them. Oh, cool. Yeah. Poor them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, Nev. Morning watch coming up. <sighs> Time I wasn't here. Well, so, um, bottom line, then, you're okay? Looks like he's doing just fine, ma'am. Hey, T. No gambling on the ship. Leave her alone. That. Oh, sorry. Must have given you mine. It's, uh... Navigator brew. Four clicks of coffee, four clicks of sugar. Guaranteed to keep the dead awake. Deltex in from Navcom. Oh, Deltex. It's got to be bad news. I'm sure the CO will be thrilled when you wake him. Do you reckon he's going to get in trouble for uh, checking out that boy now? Not a mind reader, Spider. But if gambling wasn't against regulations, that's what my money would be on. Oh, hang on. Target vessel is slowing down. Target's slowing right down. We're closing. Have you got a visual yet? Yes, sir. Is that them? Yes, sir. That's the vessel that turned away from the boy. No one on deck. Bring us in nice and slowly, Nath, and call boarding stations. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Assume damage control stage three condition, Yankee. Softly, softly as we go, Nath. Navcom have requested the pleasure of my company when we get back to base. Are we in trouble? Thanks for the we. No, I am. But I've been there before. OK, team, there's no one visible on deck, so we'll be taking them by surprise. They've shown themselves willing to kill people. So if anyone has to get hurt out there, make sure it isn't us. I'd like to join the boarding party, sir. Well, you and me both, E.T., but this is going to be done by the book. And the book doesn't allow COs or potentially concussed sailors to indulge themselves. Stand down. Stay sharp, team. Let's go. Australian warship Hammersley. Your name, sir? Sir? Julian Wiseman. And you? Glenn Hawkes. Hawking. 
We've been tasked under the Customs Act to search vessels in this area. Proceed. Would you mind telling me what you're doing here? Recreational diving. Why? Now, I've come and passed on further intel from the Federal Police regarding these drug smugglers. Are they now to source? They're hoping we'll be able to help with that. It's not the first time they've seen this sort of thing. Exploding boys. They think we've stumbled upon a drug ring they've been chasing for some time. They're ruthless. They've killed before. Thanks. Friends have borrowed this boat. Whatever that is, it isn't ours. The recreational and diving trip's over, gentlemen. You and Mr Hawks will be taken back to base. You have no right. You nearly killed two of my people. I'd say I have every right. I don't know what you're talking about. Your drug stash was booby-trapped and remotely detonated. What? I don't know anything about that, I swear. Somebody does, and they didn't think twice about it. And if you'd have done that pickup, you'd be dead by now. Charlie 2, this is X-ray 2, over. This is Charlie 2, Sydney X, over. We've found a quantity of drugs on board. Recommend escorting vessel back to base. Hey, X-ray 2, it's Charlie 2. Confirm blood Hey, hey, hey. This is X-ray 2. Negative, I repeat, negative. Captain of the vessel just Why tried to use his radio. One? What was that all about? I've got to contact my brother Stuart, OK? He's on his way to make another pickup. The same guys. X-ray 2, there's another vessel out there. I'll clarify then, report out. OK, so you and your brother, you're both couriers for another boat. Yeah, look, now I've got to do something. But well, surely they're not going to kill their own courier. <laughs> but now they know the Navy's sniffing around, they're going to want to stop you getting your hands on the evidence. OK. Where? I need a position. You just got to make sure you stop Stuart making that pickup. Position, Mr. Wiseman, now! Confirm those coordinates for the second boy. Stuart Wiseman expected to arrive at that position within the hour. ETA to that position, Nav. One hour, 40 minutes, sir. Comsend Bridge. Call that frequency again, right? Stuart Wiseman, this is Australian warship. Do not make your pickup. I say again, do not make your pickup. It is booby trapped. Over. Every five minutes, right? Sir, we're an hour and 40 away from the second boy, unable to make radio contact with the second drug courier vessel. What's the situation with the first one? Lieutenant McGregor's leading a steaming party, sir, and driving that boat back to base with both suspects aboard. OK, well, you keep me informed this time, Mike, and I really mean it. You keep me informed. Wipe that smile off your face. Roe, call him again. It's not five minutes yet, sir. Try him again. I want him in jail, not dead. Stuart Wiseman, this is Australian Warship. Do not make your pickup. I repeat, do not make your pickup. It's booby trap. Over. We've never signed up for this. Booby traps, people getting killed. You just said come and do a dive. Call it, will you, Hawkey? Just so you know, none of this comes down to me. None of it. Still no response on that frequency, sir. I'll take it up here, right? Stuart Wiseman, this is Australian warship trying to reach you on a matter of life and death. Your life and death. If you're hearing this and don't wish to respond, at least don't make the pickup. It'll kill you. Over. We have a high-speed contact heading for the second boy. It's got to be Stuart Wiseman. He doesn't believe us? Or he hasn't got his radio on. Either way, he's in a lot of trouble. Bro, he's heading for the boy. Keep trying to contact him. Yes, sir. Stuart Wiseman, this is... Australian warship, do not make your pickup. I say again, do not make your pickup. It is booby trapped. Please respond. Over. Probably thinks it's a trap. Why? Because he thinks everything's a trap. Sometimes he turns his radio off. Why would he do that? Because he's paranoid. Should never have got him involved. It was you who got him into it? Money was good. It was out of tourist season. Gig's a gig, right? You're in deep, deep trouble. And your best way out is for you to start naming the people who got you into this. No way. They're not your friends. Yeah? Well, I sure as hell don't want them as enemies. Our shipmates are out there busting a gun to save your brother. 
And when they succeed, my advice is for you to help the feds put them away. They would have killed you. Collateral damage. You owe them nothing. Stuart Wiseman, this is Australian Warship. Do not make your pick-up. I say again, do not make your pick-up. It is booby trapped. Please respond. Over. Target vessel is now closed on the buoy. Our ETA? Oh, 25 minutes. Target vessel is now stationary. We know the booby trap that went off was remotely activated. Had to be, sir. And if it wasn't Julian who triggered it, then there must have been someone else, someone who saw us arrive on their radar and pressed a button. Well, that'd be my guess, sir, yeah. We have a stationary contact seven nautical miles south of the buoy. There was a similar stationary contact near the last buoy I took to be a fishing boat. Do you think this stationary contact... Could, could... be the drug bosses who detonated the booby trap. Mark their position, let me know the second they move. Aye, sir. Ro, try that frequency again. Stuart Wiseman, this is Australian Warship. Do not make your pickup. I say again, do not make your pickup. He is booby trapped. Please respond. Over. Boss, the speedboat's vanished. It was there one second, now it's disappeared off the screen. Radar malfunction. No, she's just gone. This is where the second boy was? This is the position as given. And the radar showed the vessel heaving to here. Yeah. That's it then. Yeah. I wouldn't feel too bad about it. When it comes down to them or you, I'd rather it was them. Get there, Nav. Roger, X. Julian, I'm sorry. It's not good. Stuart? The bomb went off before Hammersley got there. I'm sorry, Julian. I'm really, really sorry. I gave you the boy's position. You said you'd save him. Yeah, and we tried. We really tried. I didn't try hard enough, did you? Ugh. Sit! Ah! Ah! Get down! Spider behind you! Don't even think about it, Hawkey. I'm not in the mood. Get down! Right. That's you boys until we get back to base. Get up! Move to the back of the boat. Move! Back to base four and a half hours. Tough. What now? You gotta help with these people in jail. Because I'm so grateful for what you've done. They were prepared to kill both of you as collateral damage. Don't you want to see them punished? But I can't make any promises. But if you're prepared to give evidence against them, you might be able to cut a deal. No one was supposed to get hurt. Someone always gets hurt. Oh, yeah? What would you know? Nice middle-class chicks like you are born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Really? Yeah. What? I've got a brother. Well, I had a brother. He got involved in the drug scene. He came to me asking me for money. I told him to get lost. It was tough love, I thought. Anyway, they found him in his car, dead with a needle still in his arm. Well, let's get started. And give me some names. We'll do a deal, mate. 
I sure as hell don't want to rot in prison. Start rotting. So the result, your end is three small time drug smugglers captured. So far, sir. But we haven't finished the job. We're still in pursuit of the animals that triggered those bombs. Right, and what's the situation there? We're between them and international waters. They're on our radar and their history. All right, we'll keep me posted. Contact still moving north. Let's spoil their day. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Assume damage control state three condition Yankee. That'd be the drug bosses. Hey, Buff. Give them hell, mate. Get your kid on. You're entitled to this one. I'd like to include Swain and E.T. in the boarding party, sir. Did they come to you about this? No, they didn't, sir. The men on board that cruiser tried to kill them. I'd like to give them the satisfaction of being in it at the end. Unless you think there might be a breach of discipline, sir. No buffer. No, I don't think that. They're shipmates. Swain, E.T., stay. Who is the master of this vessel? Who is the master of this vessel? Step forward. I thought you'd like to meet the men you tried to kill. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't let them touch us. Can't I? You tried to kill them? Nah. They won't touch you. In the Navy, that's what we call discipline. Well done, guys. Federal police have asked me to pass on their congratulations for capturing the heads of this drug syndicate. With me, sir, it was a pleasure. Second that. They seem pretty keen to get them into custody, sir. They're lifting them out by chopper. You want to think they didn't trust us. Wouldn't take it too personally, Buff. They seem to prefer to play things close to their own chests. Nevertheless, great work today. Thank you, Thank sir. You, sir. Customs have already found a traffic with all quantity of drugs, explosives, and radio gear used to set off the explosive charges, enough to put both the bosses away. And the AFP are very pleased with the names that Lieutenant McGregor radioed through. It looks like they're going to shut down the entire operation. Good officer. She'll make a good CO one day. Still has some things to learn, of course. Well, that's why the brass in Canberra posted it to you. Well, I thought it might be to teach me a few things. Well, maybe somebody thought you could use a bit of you know, system management and Lieutenant McGregor could use a bit of pirate. I see. Look, nothing personal, Mike, but if you want to dabble in these grey areas, don't be surprised if Canberra send you a bit of black and white. No, I said the bomb went off before the Hammersley got there. Well, you lied to me. You drew your own conclusion. Remember what I said about the feds. Give them what they need and maybe you'll survive that way. Good luck. Let's go, Spider. Thank you. I mean, how cool is that? I fully thought the dude's brother was dead as well. Uh, she was very, very convincing. So that's how she got him to give up the drug bosses. Yeah, but it was cooler than that. I mean, like, when he went for her, she fully did this combat action stuff and just got him down, handcuffed him straight away. It was amazing. 
Wow, it sounds like the ex has a fan. <laughs> no, she just could have saved our lives, that's all. It's a right spot. I remember my first crush too. <laughs> I don't like her, Chef -O. It's only natural. She's a woman and you'll be a man one day. Chef I don't like her. <sighs> it's not what the evidence points to, Spy. You suck. <laughs> hey, Spy. What? You did well out there. Thanks. You suck. That sounds great. I'll see you then. X, about today. Well done. It was pretty straightforward, sir. That's not how a spider tells it. He came through. He was like, don't even think about it. I don't know where he got that from. Playing football? Oh, so it's a guy thing. Yeah. And he's under the impression that you're Wonder Woman. Oh, you didn't already know that. You know, he'd do well on big ships, and I think in his own interest, we should recommend him for a transfer. You want to steal my crew now? What is it about you and big ships? They're where the action is. You want to see more action than you did today? I meant career-wise. So you're just aching to go back? The career path I've chosen requires time as a warfare officer aboard a frigate. I thought you understood that. You were sent here to learn. You've started well. Apart from running into things. That could have happened to anyone. You? Well, no. But anyone else. <laughs> The brass have posted you here for good reasons. Don't let them or me down by having all your focus on the next step up the ladder. Sir. Oh, and uh, Spider said something about your brother. Brother? The one who died. I'm sorry. I didn't know. He's mistaken. I never had a brother. Oh. Must have got it wrong. I take it you won't be joining us at the pub? Not tonight. Good night, sir. Night, X. Hi. Hi. 